Play with the rage of industrial training Redefining the essence of education Practical skills for sustainable development The ultimate solution to unemployment Higher standards in the quality the Directorate of Industrial Training, DIT, is a quality assurance body under the Ministry of Education and Sports. It is mandated to develop occupational standards, regulate work-based training schemes, to apply Uganda Vocational Qualifications Framework, accredit assessment centers as spelled out in the Business, Technical and Vocational Education and Training Act, BITVET Act 2008. The Directorate of Industrial Training clearly promotes quality assurance interventions in business, technical, vocational education and training for the public and private sector labor markets. With many youth wandering for employment, those who have been assessed and certified with the DIT are earning a living with vocational or technical skills. Lawrence Kabuye is a technician from Lugogo Vocational Skills Center with a level one and two. He obtained a craftsman certificate in metal works and fabrication from the Directorate of Industrial Training. After school, he has managed to open up a workshop in Intinda, Nakawa, Kampala. Um, by the name of Lawrence Kabuye, I started from Lugogo. I did DIT, level one, level two. Right now I'm in Tinder, I have a workshop in Tinder. And I'm employing about what four to five people. We are doing each and every type of fabrication. We do sliding windows, we fabricate uh, rolling shutters, we fabricate gates, even we do some part of aluminium. Actually we have tried to achieve a lot from DIT. Because most of the people you find, most of the people they are moving around, you unemployed. But right now, since it came into the system of education, right now most of the people are employed. The advice I can give the, the fellow youths is that they can take on the, these hands-on works. You do something which is touchable. That's the good thing with the DIT. It is teaching you hands-on skilling Ugandans mostly. Even if you ended in P7, you can push on with DIT. Abdul Kalumba is a person with hearing impairment but has managed to make a breakthrough because of skilling and obtaining a DIT certificate. Um, after my primary school, I joined uh, the vocational school here at Uganda Society for the Day. And uh, I learned carpentry. I got into learn uh, skills in carpentry for three years. And I got uh, expertise from my studies. I even attained a certificate. I tried to look for capital. And uh, because the, I had the skills in my head, so I needed the tools to be able to uh, make money. So. So at that moment, I used not to have money enough. I, I, I was depending on what the customer gives me. So I looked at getting all that I needed, like paying rent. And it wasn't all easy. Because uh, usually when the, when the customer or client comes, he pays you after you have uh, finished the work. Now I've... Uh, 
I've uh, opened the showroom. Yes, I have a showroom um, where I am able to look for markets and where clients can come and look at the nicely done, done, done things of mine. It's right there at Mango, near the Mango Hospital. It's this job that has uh, helped me take care of my family and the money to take care of my family I've actually been getting it from carpentry and also look after my relatives uh, support them with school fees Lawrence Tibifumura is a manager at RT Fashion and Design she began garment designing way back after training in fashion and design and registering for DIT certification I'm Tibufumura Rovens, managing RT Fashion and Design here at Bukelele Road. I finished primary seven after I joined technical school, after I joined craft part one, after craft part one we did the UB table. But that time we registered the DIT exam, that is level two. After level two I joined the craft part two. That is advanced. After advanced, we sit DIT level three. Level three, after level three, I go to diploma in technical education. That is level four. I did DIT level four. After level four, I plan to open the what? To open the workshop. Because I have got the skill, enough skill. Then I open the workshop in Bukerele Road. I start with money machine, one machine. I start slowly, slowly to make the things I get in the school, to try to get more skills. Then after I start getting contracts in the schools, different schools, they ask me to apply and I touch my documents. I touch my certificate DIT. After they are, I get the contract in different school. I start working. Slowly, slowly, after I managed to get this big machine. I have overall machine, I have two straight machine, I have my new five machine. After I plan to start giving the skill out in my use. By now I have eight students, they are going to sit to DIT level two. This workshop helps me in many things. I can't wait my, my husband to give me money that he, for Kameza. No, I manage to get everything I want. I can get, I can, I can get what I want. Then it helps me to give the skill for my daughters, my relatives. By now I have two girls here. I encouraging them to get the skill. Even I did not take them in the secondary, then taken for school. Even my firstborn, Christine Natasha, I can't leave her home to sit there to wait on the food. By now, she's here getting the skill. She can make a dress, she can make a skirt. She's very happy about skills. So I started this skill in lockdown. I started by trying to make easy easy clothes like handkerchiefs and others I also started to try to make those hard ones as by now I've started to make dresses skirts and other more clothes I thank God for giving me a mother who can at least try to help their children to get skills you can see me by now and you say that I am a child who doesn't know anything but God helped me and I knew how to tell. As I continue this skill, even if I want to become anybody else in future, I can continue trying another skill as I get money. Multi-skilled Fred Chimbareva in his 70s, is still strong and maintains his services as a carpenter, trainer, and a businessman in Imbarara City. Fred's love for skills as a carpenter 
took him to places where he obtained multitude of knowledge in carpentry and joinery. Certified by the Directorate of Industrial Training, Chimbareba has managed to win big contracts from Uganda and in the East African region to supply furniture. Uh, my workshop is called also, my name is Fred Chimbareba's workshop. We are dealing in furniture, uh, domestic furniture. And also we are, we are getting tenders from the government. We are getting tenders, uh, orders from customers. Uh, from church, everybody in Mbarara. Even we were exporting furniture from, from here to Rwanda, to Tanzania, uh, even Kenya. And our furniture is modern, uh, our furniture is uh, portable, it is high quality of Uganda. We have timbers, mahogany, mvure, uh, pine, and also other had had hardwoods. We were trained in carpentry from Rugogo, Jaika, and also from uh, from Nakawa, and also from we were even Nambore. We were given a study tour to India, to German, to Turkey, even even uh, Italy. The IT helps us very much, very much. Because I was not in, in order to cut such a thing, such an order, timber. But we were get, given knowledge, you can get everything, you can change the design. Mujizi Gerard Chimbareva is one of the sons of Fred Chimbareva. Moving closely in the footsteps of his father, he has managed to maintain his father's carpentry workshop and the other family business. My name is um, this is Gerard Chimbareva. I'm the manager of this workshop. I was studied carpentry doinally as like my father. So I do wear my furniture and everything. And I'm proud of that work. Priska Oyela, garment designer from Lira City, is earning a living after successfully obtaining a DIT certificate. I'm by the name Oyela Priska. I went for my training in Triandongo Technical Institute, year 1, 2018. I went for my DIT, first year in Lira Garment Industry. I gained very many in my training. I know how to make any fashions. I can teach. Right now I have my workshop. I pay school fees and very many others. I encourage people to join tailoring. It's a good work. That's money. Every day at least you earn. The presidential initiative on the skilling the girl boy child project ensures that the needy acquire skilling courses like hairdressing and embroidery, tailoring, knitting, weaving, shoe making, bakery and confectionery. The goal is to ensure that needy children benefit from the presidential initiative from various centers so that they can be self-employed. At the end of the six months course, students do an assessment exam given by the Directorate of Industrial Training and are given DIT certificates. Twajiri Zeho Justin is one of the beneficiaries of the Presidential Skilling Program for the Girl and Boy Child. Twajiri Zeho Justin has unique skills as an electronic repairer. Justin has a workshop in Nabulagala in Rubaga Division of Kampala. My name is Twajiri Zeho Justin from Rubirizi District. I joined the Presidential Initiative for Skilling Boy Child and Girl Child. Last year in uh, August, so when I registered, 
Mm. And now at least I've moved a step. I have the workshop where at least I get those most more works I do. Mm, the reason why I joined presidential, it was like I had that feeling before out here when they talk about presidential. Before I done my certificate, I did senior four. After I did certificate in electrical engineering, I upgraded for diploma. I tried to look for jobs, but it's not easy. Then when I also had that chance, I joined. On joining, I learned a lot of things. I learned even that I can still make a business. I can still even start up something without looking for a job. The good chance I'd found eh? someone who was already there was also doing the same stuff, doing a phone repair, who had just shifted from that same room where I am. Eh? So people would come asking, do you repair phones, do you do what? Then I also got that idea how to, to begin working. Apart from phones, I do repair TVs, woofers, microwaves, because they taught them to us, all of them. My TV can't get spoiled and I'm calling it someone. No, I can repair it myself. I do repair a lot of things. Just electronics is about understanding something and you follow how it gets power, but the first thing is self-belief. If you believe in yourself, you can do it. Because uh, repairing a phone doesn't need you to carry it like it is heavy. Just something very small. We girls having that mentality, they think they are for boys, they are. No, you can do it. Every lady can do it. If I can, what of those even who are more than me, they can do it. Just as having self-belief. Another thing, there is this mentality for those people who do those things, maybe they are not, you know, it's not okay, but it's, it's a total lie. Because we do a lot of physics there. Calculation, you must calculate using your head, meaning you must be bright in the head. Uh, I thank the president of Uganda, Grandpa, with the Vazuku. Really thank you for that program. It is very really helping most of us. Even those people had lost hope. They have hope that they can do something. John Busiku is a shoemaker from Kawempe Division in Insoba Parish. He has had his mindset change from being a ghetto boy to a skills trainer. He is a beneficiary of the Presidential Skills Initiative and Assessment by DIT. <laughs> presidential initiative on skilling boys to girl child. Nga skilling in each lot of a chocola company afenga a full miangato, mu Uganda. A chroto chenina, chroto jena jaku javana street, kwa jakungu do kwa funile milim. Katuava made dogs, maneka to go no meta natanica, mulimonga, gunatan go calling gato again. Abaso locova mua, abaso loquest on your chivia cola. Cutting guns in a vial name and presidential initiative and Jagaloku you go calling gato. That we know I'm a colleague one again got to cut to cut and say where I'm a colleague I got for the calling got to also a calling got a new jet as you come to Indo. Nature never the present seven you could take away some of your skilling. Sing us a present seven sing and sing in a chain to come on a limu ya ye na limu b. Martha Bariomonte, Penina and Nachiria Esther are proprietors of Lisa and Ella Unisex Saloon. Both underwent the competence based presidential scaling program. They jointly started the saloon and the skills center. My name is Abariom Muntematha. I came from Chen. I came to Kampara. Uh, after my senior four, I worked in a sports betting center. From there, COVID came. When it came, they closed everything that used to give us some money. Then, after Corona, they, I saw an advert on TV talking about presidential initiative, skilling girl and boy child. I applied, I joined the skilling. We started for six months. I was actually among the best students. I was even the head of class. Then after that, I sat for my DIT. I performed very well. In, I, um, actually, I wanted to teach in skilling school. When we were at skilling center, I had a friend of mine called Esther, Nachiria Esther. She's here with us today, and she has been with me. We started this thing together. Uh, after skilling, we came up with an idea 
because like one on one we had no enough capital to begin up a saloon so we joined hands together me and Martha we started up with this unit here it after ourselves and we can afford the rent of this place because it's a bit expensive for someone who is starting a business my landlord was like you people can you teach here I was like, yes, we, 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 we can. She looked for us, students, two students, they are here. And we have some other two students, they are not here. One is sick, another one got some problems, she's absent. We have a staff of like other two people who also trained from a skilling center. They finished this year. We are also adding them more skills. Because when you have the skills in your head, you cannot wait for someone to give you money or to be a beggar. Thank you so much, Skilling. Thank you so much, DIT. Because I managed to get a, an A plus in DIT. And we thank so much for those people who stood by our side when we were starting. Some helped us get this one get, eh? we, with the small capital we had, but they helped us to inject some. We have got good things. We can manage now to pay school fees for our children. Nigeria Esther has one son, I also have two daughters. We can manage to eat, skilling, we can dress up well. Skilling has made us at least somehow better, better people. In 2013, Erisa Nkoyoyo made an innovation of roofing with power stones. Erisa Nkoyoyo says the stone roof is not degraded by rain which leaks through iron sheets or tiles and causes the roof structure to rot. After this discovery, Nkoyoyo worked with many partners to fulfill his plan, who advised him to join DIT to be assessed under the competence-based program. Life became better, and now he boasts of increasing income and innovation. <laughs> Uh, director Stone Roofing Uganda Limited, Om Scout, Om Zimbi. Stone Roofing, Chechiko Rechoko, the Sama Injanga to Serekevi Zimbi, Edanga and Ze Innovator, a Yatandi Kao, Okusere Sama Inja, Monsi, Eda Chitu Tebanga, Miaka Katugenze, Miaka Kumi. Edan Jakueva Zanyo DIT. Kuvanga, dear Kubo, Edisobola, O Kuzula, Ebitone. No kutumbula ebitone biaba ba yi ya bari ywa bari ngaba ino bokugu ba yina ngaba sabolo kwe yamsa diaiti o kuba kevera o bokugu wa we ne baba wa ebi wandi ko ebi kaka sa o bokugu wa ndi tv ne njogera na mu kuba ni ne visani zo kati wobotu nuli dembaka ground yang yezimu ku project zene nyumi zam ezireke dua mainja. Ngazi jayo dala echifana nyi, echo chenari nechiro wozo, chenari nzimba, okule kense nonge singa yotu wajisanga. Chinyamba chitia, nti DIT, tegja kuwa mpapula, atenga tekutegese. E kutegeka, chivaita, nekuwa endo woze nene, okulaba nti osolo tandika o company. Namanya nti solo la kola mirimu jonaje mmanye mmotwe. Ni wankuba denji koze konji hize. Na yesi sobo la jiko lanze ka. Kati, nga nino kukuo okuloku bantu, I can supervise. Ate manye echiru unji. Manye echiru unji chifana na chitia. Nga nino kutandi kawo kampani. E sobo la okubanti nkunganyi za mburi ya ina cha manye. Nga chukugu semu. Okusobo la okubanti nsobo la kuwa saganya. Emili mwejuwe la. Eda musimbi muna nge gwari yeyo. Tolo oza nitosobola. Echo obuta sobo la chiri mundo oza yu. Ate noku sobo la kuli mundo oza yu. Onaku te chinaba kuba chikerezi. Chiba chikerezi. Ngatoni naba kumanya DIT. Ni hate uoji manya. Obato kere wanga. Ocha ino mkisa ugu sobo la. Okulaba ntuwe ya ambisa programu enu. Okusobo la kuchu sobo la mungu. Director of Industrial Training. The Directorate of Industrial Training, DIT. Promoting employable skills for industry development. Skills for sustainable development, the ultimate solution to unemployment.